lecture is based on the exercise of our chapter 9 all is not lost and the first question we have text for persons but we will discuss later okay rearrange these sentences in correct sequence we have to arrange them according to the sequence of the text according to the incidents mentioned in the text so I have right there real sequence you can see these two sentences are repeated and the, they are not in the text okay here we have matched the columns I have matched them for you you can see okay then we have to identify the phrases and idioms in the lesson and then use them in sentences I have marked them in the lesson for you and you can also see okay a young professional right then severe head and spinal injuries then fight a lost battle a normal person a hopeless case a slight recovery these are from the text and you have to make their sentences okay next we have make a list of cognates used in the text you have to make the list of the things cognates have two meanings one is relation from mother side as um, as it is concerned with this first concept that is relation from mother side we have only single relation mentioned in the uh, text that is Hera's sister then derived words cognates are derived words that are uh, interlinked with each other suppose compare and comparison are the words that are cognates right then we have uh, compose and composition they are also cognates so you have to find these words at your own this is your own task okay then we have used the following words in sentence first as verb and then as noun like can care walk surprise request need and state I have made their sentences here for your assistance see care as a verb she takes care of everyone care as a noun he is free from cares you can see all of these I hope that you can see them clearly Taking screenshots would help you. Okay, next we have read out the following paragraph, put an article a and the to replace these signs where necessary. Where there is a will, there is a way, is a famous proverb. Many a wise man has approved it. It is an altogether wrong notion to ignore it. A people who Adopt this fine principle, find an ultimate victory. The man who does not act upon this rule cannot succeed in his life. What a lesson it has for all of us. Hmm? Then we have direct and indirect narration. Direct and indirect is a, a, is a detailed topic. I will make a separate video on that right because I have to give a lot of information about this we have to discuss so many rules based on it though I have solved this exercise but I would recommend that you should watch another video for that that I would upload later based on narrations right compound preposition what is a compound preposition compound prepositions are two or more words working together as one word and functioning as a preposition we know very well that compound means two words okay I have solved them you can see okay then we have past perfect continuous tense what is the structure subject auxiliary verb plus me, me verb we can also call them helping verbs right we use had been base form of verb and then ing in the perfect continuous tense 
for perfect we have had from continuous we have base form and ing and what joins them together is bean use of the past perfect continuous tense what is the use why do we use it the past perfect continuous tense is like the past perfect tense but it expresses longer action in the past before another action in the past in past perfect continuous we join two actions together it tells that one action that has begun in the big in the in the past is still going on right suppose Rahim started waiting at 9 a.m. I arrived at 11 a.m. When I arrived, Rahim had been waiting for two hours. Like it tells that when the person came, the other person was already waiting there. Right? Okay. Now, 